The Spurge family, Euphorbiaceae, is one of the biggest families of flowering plants. Spurge itself is typically described as a plant or shrub with a bitter, milky, and sometimes even poisonous juice or oil. Native to numerous locations and consisting of various types of plants and thousands of different species, there truly is a lot to learn about this diverse family. The various growth forms of Euphorbiaceae include trees, herbs, succulents, shrubs, and twiners, which include plants that grow wrapped around some object of support. Euphorbiaceae are found as mainly monoecious, with male and female flowers pollinating on the same plant, but it is sometimes dioecious, with male and female flowers on separate plants. Flowers in this family show radial symmetry, though many can be present without petals. Euphorbiaceae flowers tend to be found in cup-shaped clusters called cyathea, each with a single pistil in the center surrounded by several male flowers. The cyathea are surrounded by whorls of modified leaves or flower petals. Male flowers can have one or many stamens with conations present or absent. Female flowers have ovary cavities superior to their other parts, and petals are usually absent. The fruit of a Euphorbiaceae plant is typically a schizocarp, which is pictured here. As you can see, each fruiting body is chambered, and once the fruit matures, the capsule will forcefully rupture, hence the prefix schizo. Sometimes the fruits can be classified as droops, pods, berries, or samaras, but they are usually relatively small in these forms. Since Euphorbiaceae plants are mostly unisex, most of their pollination occurs through anemophily, or wind pollination. Other plants are pollinated by insect pollination called entomophily, which is what this wasp is aiding in. Since quite a few plants within the spurge family lack bright flowers or petals in general, the insects are attracted to the nectar of the flowers. Euphorbiaceae disperse their seeds through their schizocarp fruits. Just as a little review of what schizocarp is, these fruits consist of multi-chambered capsules that burst open when ready to spread seeds. They explode with such force that the seeds may be ejected up to 15 feet away from the plant. Each capsule usually contains around three seeds and the size, shape, and features of the seeds may vary by species. Besides this method of dispersal, animals and water also aid in seed dispersion. Euphorbiaceae varieties hold great economic importance. One example of this in the spurge family is the cassava plant. This plant is used to make cassava flour and accounts for over half a billion people's daily diets. As one of the most drought tolerant crops, cassava has become a major staple in impoverished countries. Nigeria is the world's largest producer of cassava, where the processing of the plant provides employment opportunities to many women. Another big use for the spurge family is the use of the rubbery sap that some spurge family members produce. The most important example of this is the Javia brasiliensis, or the para rubber tree. Found in South America, the latex produced from these trees is the primary source of natural rubber, making this plant possibly the most important member of the Euphorbiaceae economically. Regarding medicinal uses, the sun spurge plant is used in Chinese medicine as one of 500 essential herbs and is said to cure warts. It is widely accepted in science that Euphorbiaceae is the largest, fifth largest family of flowering plants. Overall, the number of genera falls within the range of 250 to 300. However, the estimated number of species is debated a bit more. Some sources claim that there are between 5,000 to 6,300 species, but others specify the number as being very close to 7,500 species. All of these species encompass succulents like the myrtle spurge pictured here, herbs like asthma weed pictured here, and trees like the candelabra tree, as well as many others. Species of the Euphorbiaceae family are found all over the world except for Arctic regions. 
They thrive mainly in temperate or tropical regions. A large portion of species can be found in the neotropics. However, there are only two genera that are found in montane grasslands. Most of the succulent species of the spurge family are native to Africa, specifically Madagascar. According to the Alabama Plant Atlas, Euphorbia amaniodes, sand dune spurge, Euphorbia apocinifolia, false flowering spurge, Euphorbia camophyte, pie plate, and Euphorbia commutata, tinted woodland spurge, are some of the most common local representatives. One type of euphorbia that you might be more familiar with is the Chinese tallow tree. An even more familiar one that can be found anywhere at Christmas time includes the poinsettia. Euphorbiaceae belongs to the Plantae Kingdom, the Viridae Plantae Subkingdom, indicating it is a green plant, and the Streptophyta Infrakingdom, indicating it is a land plant. Spurges belong to the superdivision Embryophyta, the division Tracheophyta, indicating a vascular plant, and the subdivision Sper Spermatophytina, indicating a seed plant. They, they also belong to the class Magnoliopsida and the order Malpigiales. They are members of the angiosperm, eudicot, and rosid clades, which illustrates their close relation to other flowering plants with unfused petals. Here is a picture of the flowering spurge plant within the Euphorbiaceae family. Compare this to the sulfur alder plant pictured here in the family Passifloraceae, but the same Mag Malpigiales order as the Euphorbiaceae. Note how, even though they have different phylogenies, they still share some of the same characteristics, such as more than one stamen and unfused petals. Both are also monoecious. But why is this so important? The spurge family contains the rubber tree, a tree that is more important than ever as the primary source of natural latex, a material that is produced into rubber gloves and other products that are vital in the fight against COVID-19. Also belonging to this family is the castor oil plant, which provides oil used in medicines, cosmetics, hair oils, printing ink, soap, lubricants, and many other important products. The seeds of the castor oil are also the source of ricin, one of the deadliest poisons known to man. You may even have members of the spurge family in your garden, as both the poinsettia and garden croton are both plants from this vast family that are commonly grown for their beauty. So despite the possibility that you may have never heard of the spurge family, these plants likely play a role in your day-to-day -day life. And remember, don't fight the urge to eat some spurge.